Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I cover nostalgic, obscure, or otherwise strange content. Different computer today. <laughs> my beloved Dell uh, finally has passed on. So I'm using this, which is an even older monstrosity than the Dell was. I actually edit all the videos on this computer because it is the only thing stubborn enough that DaVinci Resolve can't kill it. <laughs> so yeah, excuse this eyesore. Uh, for the next few videos while I find a computer that wasn't incorporated in the AOL startup kit <laughs> tutorials. But to our main topic of discussion today, we are talking about the pilot episode of DuckTales, not the new one that just ended, although that was one of my favorite things too, but the original one from 1987. Me and my good friend Maddie uh, just finished watching all of the newest DuckTales, the one with David Tennant as Scrooge. Um, we just finished watching all of those uh, the other day, and I just love how they tie together all the characters from all those different uh, Disney Channel Saturday morning lineup shows into that one show. And so I want to uh, expand on looking at those old cartoons from that specific lineup. And I did one video about an episode of Darkwing Duck a couple months back, but I want to do more on all of those shows. So today we're doing the pilot episode of the original DuckTales. I haven't seen this in years, so this should be fun. Might solve a mystery. Or history. Oh, question for you guys who have seen uh, both versions of DuckTales at some point. Um, do you have any opinions on the on the opening theme song? Because like, they did a good job with the newer version of the theme song, but like this one, it's just iconic. I love this version, <laughs> but they're both good in their own way. Every day that Last week, my friend sent me a video. I'll see if I can find it. Um, <laughs> it's just, it's the DuckTales theme song, but they just say duck. Every day they're out there making duck. It's like, every day they're out there making duck. Whoa! <laughs> it's so dumb, I love it. Danger lurks behind you. Also, in the new version, isn't it Danger Lurks Behind You? Maybe I'm just hearing it wrong, but I could swear that that's what the new version is. Did they change it for some reason? Am I hearing it completely wrong because my brain is wrong? Or did maybe they, they just didn't know that, that that was what the original version was and it was just lost in translation. So we open on the classic scene of Scrooge McDuck diving into his money because he just has so much of it. Eat the rich. Which has to be uncomfortable, right? That's gotta hurt his little duck bones. I can't remember if they do at any point in this series because I haven't seen this one in a long time, but in the new one they go as far as to explain why he says curse me kilts, bless me bagpipes. It's very funny. So yeah, he gets a notification that he's late and then gets changed into his money man suit and puts on his Jeff Bezos attitude um, and walks down the street. Can you for the poor? They're not worth it. Cold as ice, that duck. Oh, would you care for a sample, Mr. McDuck? No. They're free. Can I have more than one? Of course. Take as many as you can. Be back tomorrow. One thing I missed since the beginning of the panorama is just feeling okay going to the mall and just like walking around and taking samples from all the different restaurants while you choose where you want to go. Now I'm paranoid to go to a mall at all. <laughs> what a great time to be alive. Oh, I'll never make it unless I spend money on a taxi. No, spend money on a taxi when you only have one vault of money. No. Oh, meanwhile, uh, Donald Duck is quacking at his three nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Yeah. What? <laughs> I was watching a TikTok recently where somebody was talking about um, the Cinderella mice being hard to understand. I can't understand a word Donald's saying. Bless him. <laughs> so Donald is shipping off, being that he's a, a man of the sea, and uh, he is leaving the nephews, who I forgot literally look identical, they just wear different colors, with Scrooge. That's why he had to... <gasps> pay money for a taxi. <laughs> what about my tip? Here, 
chew on this. You just give him cheese squares for a tip? I mean, I love cheese squares, but that's not a valid tip. You can't be serious about this crazy idea. There's no profit in it. <laughs> Scrooge is like, being an uncle, where's the money in it? But what have I done to deserve being saddled with these uh, uh, juveniles? Good to see you too, Uncle Scrooge. Love you, Scroogey. <laughs> well, I suppose we should head for home. All right, I'll get a taxi. Ugh, no need for that. So the kids are like, let's go to the mansion. Let's get a taxi. And Scrooge is like, uh-uh, you're walking those three miles, kid. It builds character. We'll have a nutritious lunch of cheese. At this point, I'm just imagining that Scrooge only gets his food from that one corner that gives out cheese samples. And so, like, his cupboards and everything are just all full of cheese. Can't be good for his digestive system. <laughs> he knocks on his own front door? Is he too rich to use the doorknob? Wow, a palace and a butler. Oh, Duckworth's alive. He's dead in the other version. This is the pits. Correction, the mega pits. Is it the same voice actor that does all three voices in this one? That would be weird. They'd just be like talking to themselves for the majority of the recording session. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Somebody tell me why Duckworth's name is Duckworth. He's not a duck. I mean, I guess there aren't rules against it, but like, the town's called Duckburg. Ducks are very prevalent. Surely they could have thought of something that doesn't involve duck for Duckworth, right? Oh, he's a very busy man, Master, uh, uh, Dewey. Dewey! You guys can tell the triplets apart, right? Huey's the one in red, Dewey's the one in blue, Louie's the one in green. My knowledge is limited when it comes to many things, but not the duck triplets. Do not get your knickers in a proverbial twist. Not to make things awkward, but from the looks of things, they're not even wearing pants, so I don't think that's an issue. It's simply a letter from your Uncle Donald. I'm surprised the Ertzans know how to read. Ooh, low blow, Duckworth. Yeah, boys. The Navy sure is exciting. Oh, Donald's in the Navy? I forgot that. He's just like, I want to see the world, and it sounds like he's going on vacation. But he's going out to serve the country. Good for him. And has assigned me to do some dangerous jet fighter work. I will ride again soon. Love, Uncle Donald. Oh, I miss you already, Uncle Donald. So after that, the triplets are playing dangerous games around things that look breakable. Oh, it must be those nephews. I don't want to get involved. Really? You can't be bothered to pay for taxis and cheese, but you hear the sound of something valuable breaking and you can't be bothered to get up from your desk? Hey, there goes Uncle Scrooge. Now's our chance to talk to him. Wait a minute, what's the geography here? Is that a door or is that a window? Because it looks like it opens. It goes down to the floor like a door would, but you can see clear down to this, the pavement. So you, it doesn't look like you would want to step out there. So what the hell, Scrooge? I'm sorry, gentlemen, but Mr. McDuck left strict orders. So they can't even see their own uncle who they're living with temporarily. But then, like, without any transition, it just goes to the next scene where they're with him, so it's a little bit confusing. I mean, I'm sure the average child could follow it, but I'm completely lost. <laughs> you! There'll be no whistling while you work. I mean, he is kind of being a hard ass, but to be fair, I also am am very annoyed by whistling. It's a joke amongst my family and friends. They'll whistle just to annoy me. What? Ah, uh, lighten up, Uncle Scrooge. What are you doing here? Did he not notice that they were there? Were they not supposed to be there? Because, like, he they were right on his heels. How did he not see them or hear them or sense their presence? We miss seeing you. Did you, lads? Ugh. He's like, ugh, family, gross. What happened to Duckworth? Ah, uh, he got tied up. This is definitely going to delay dinner. No, boys. What did I say about tying up Duckworth? To not to. I got another one. It's a greenback snapper. Ah, uh, it's only a 50. Throw it back. <laughs> They're money fishing in this giant vault. That's kind of genius. What do you think you're doing? We weren't gonna keep it. We were just playing. Money is to be taken seriously. So Scrooge comes in and he's like, playing? Children using their imagination? Not on my watch. Didn't your Uncle Donald teach you anything? Sure, how to play ball. 
how to cross the street and how to avoid strangers. Bless Donald. He sounds like a very good uncle parent. <laughs> As near as I can figure, we've hit Scrooge's money bin 299 times. Oh, so these are the Beagle Boys, if you didn't know. They are criminals who are constantly going up against Scrooge throughout the show. They're in jail, planning their next crime. If only they weren't, you know, in jail. Here you go, boys. Someone's trying to sweeten your disposition. And then this officer with a snazzy mustache comes in and just gives them a present that somebody sent. What? Watch, watch. When it's a thing that'll break them out, I'm gonna act really surprised. Ready? Watch. How did he not die? Those aren't bonbons, Bagger. They're boom booms. <gasps> They're bombs to help them escape. I didn't see that coming. Are all those acting classes I took paying off yet? Then meet me at the old La Orange Theater, signed El Capitan. I don't know who this El Capitan is, but I sure like his style. What happened to the audio there? It's like it glitched for a second. But I sure like his style. Why did they leave that space in between the two bits of audio? If only boarding schools weren't so expensive. So he's so unhappy about having his nephews around. He's already trying to ship them off to boarding school. I need to cheer up. Send in the solicitors. <laughs> Mr. McDuck. He doesn't want to deal with them to the extent that he's more willing to talk to random solicitors. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he just wants to like throw them out the window and stuff. Harsh, but very ingenuitive. <laughs> so now the triplets are in a room of even more expensive looking stuff. And finally, that famous fountain of knowledge, the Junior Woodchuck's guidebook. My museum. Me. Thank you. Well, don't you hate it when your three duck nephews accidentally break something in your personal museum and you have to throw a junior woodchuck representative out the window with your giant robot claws? You are grounded. Grounded. That's fun to say it like that. <laughs> That's a very weird way to light a match. <laughs> He's a dog with fur, shouldn't it catch his fur on fire? Never mind. So they break out. I know they had the bomb things, but still, I feel like there should be more security to like reinforce, so they still got out pretty easily. Anyway, the person who sent them the explosives to help them get out of jail is somebody named El Capitan, who they meet up with. You are all experts on Scrooge McDuck's money bin. He's quite the character. He's got a whole noir thing going for himself. What's more valuable than three cubic acres of cash? A small wooden ship. It just so happens that the thing that he wants them to steal is that ship that the triplets just about broke two seconds ago. So, coincidence. But curse their feathers! They're such troublesome little brats! Off topic, but do you think he wears that old-timey swimsuit because he likes it? Because he doesn't know other swimsuits exist, or because he's too cheap. It's because he's too cheap to buy a new one. Okay. How did I let Donald talk me into taking care of those little beasts? Oh, they hear him calling them brats. That's so sad. I told you he didn't want us. Bless their poor quacky hearts. The worst thing about it is the little nose punches remind me of myself at that age. Cunning, sharp resourceful. Then why do you hate him so much? Oh, his little bath towel has a little hole for his tail to go. That's cool. Off topic again. Never mind. Uncle Donald will take us back. You'll see. But Uncle Donald's in the Navy. What? How? Are you also going to try to join the Navy? Because I think you're too young to enlist. Hey, who's that? Looks suspicious. Oh, stranger danger. Please don't get kidnapped. Look! Oh, but they see him trying to rob the vault. So instead of going to get a grown-up, they're like, we are three small children. We can handle this all on our own. How do I know where the little wooden ship is? What do I look like, a little wooden sailor? No one has peripheral vision on TV or in the movies. We gotta get help. See, that would have been a smart idea like 10 minutes ago. But now... And some kids, man. They're kind of screwed. Don't let him get away! You let all three! Them run pat I'm not rooting for you, but don't yell at the other ones when you let them get away. But they managed to get away and get to the ship. My money bin. And Scrooge comes running when he hears the alarm because 
at this point his character arc is he cares about money more than people. What was the point of that? Somebody had already heard it. Why not just grab the thing and try to get out of there? Again, not rooting for you, but still. I wish you had a better plan. Oh boy, they have the, the boat and the triplets now. Oh, but the triplets got away, so that's good. Running away from home? Breaking and entering? Is it breaking and entering if somebody else broke and entered and then you followed them in after said breaking and entering? It's like you're reusing somebody else's crime. Is that still a crime? <laughs> Probably. Lying about the Beagle Boys. But they were there! And didn't touch a single coin. They try to tell him about the burglary and he doesn't believe them. It's late and I have an important interview in the morning at my candy factory. Boarding school's not looking so expensive after all. Is he just gonna put them into year-round junior woodchuck camp? I don't think he can do that. Hey, look what's on the other side of this. An old theatrical flyer. But anyway, they find a clue on the back of the map. That being a forest hideout! Good job, boys. Proud of you. This way will be quicker anyway. <laughs> Maybe this isn't such a good idea. You think? Yeah. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. I mean, what do woodchucks really know about flying anyway? The wisdom of children. <laughs> but somehow they take off without dying. Now how do we land? Land? They don't know how to land, but they'll figure it out, I'm sure. Ah! It may be quicker, <coughs> but it sure is wetter. They're ducks. Shouldn't they love the water? Maybe it's just unseasonably cold in the middle of the night. Hmm. I ran out of tea. <laughs> Pretend this is tea. Oh god, I'm gonna make a mess. This tea tastes a lot like tequila now. Senor, the agreement was your freedom for the ship. I'm supposed to be focused on how evil he is, but he really does have some bomb-ass facial hair. Uh, but then the triplets get the ship back, and then... All the villains threaten violence against them. What in the it is really fortunate for the triplets that all the bad guys are idiots. It's gotta be around here someplace. They're gonna fall. A trap door. They fell. How'd you know there was a trap door then, Dewey? I didn't. Luck really do be a lady. Tonight. <laughs> Why, this that alone holds enough chocolate to make a candy bar the size of my money bin. He has a candy factory in this version? So he's just a Willy Wonka with feathers? That's cool. And how do you explain your phenomenal wealth, Mr. McDuck? Poverty wages, unethically sourced labor, and just kind of being a miserly bitch is my guess. Simple. I made it by being smarter than the smarties and tougher than the toughies. That's catchier, though. And I deserve every penny because I made it square. You do not. Well, Mr. McDuck, your family must be very proud of you. My what? She's like, family. And he's like, what? Family? I have no loved ones. All I have is money and feathers and glasses that stay on my face and defy gravity somehow. To tell the truth, my life is pretty lonely. Well, this interview just got really depressing. My nephews! <laughs> the grand lads. So he's gushing about his nephews and realizing that he does want them around while they are actively about to die. <laughs> oh, I wish they were here so you could meet them. Ew, did they fall in butter? Keep rolling, keep rolling! They are! Can you imagine, like, b being about to fall on your ass rolling on all those gumballs and having somebody make a pun at you? What's going on here? It's a treasure map, Uncle Scrooge! I forgot for a second they were wearing the woodchuck hat, so I was like, why are their heads so tall? <laughs> we're all in this together! Good luck! And now the High School Musical soundtrack is in my head. I still know how to do the dance. Does anybody else know how to do the We're All In This Together dance? Because I do. Don't remember much from Algebra 2, but that... <laughs> like it was yesterday. Fire, Dewey! Bon appetit! So Scrooge is like, hey kids, we're family now. Everybody grab a pie. And so they just start launching pies at bad guys. Are you getting all this? I'm trying! I'm trying! He would be if you weren't shaking him. He can't get a good eye line now. Hey, McDuck! Look what I got! 
Oh, no, poor Huey. All right, big time, it's a deal. We're releasing the others. Just don't harm the boy. Oh, he gave him the ship for Huey. Character development. <laughs> Sorry, Uncle Scrooge. Never mind, Robert. Just walk faster. Yeah, they're not running away super fast. What a sweet deal. Oh, I guess it was caramel because it's a candy factory. But they probably also use butter in a candy factory. Willy Wonka even had hair cream. <laughs> Meanwhile, you know it's like boiling hot, like <laughs> their skin just getting seared off. Like that's, <laughs> that's really dark. But that's what would happen if this wasn't a children's cartoon. Jeez, it doesn't even look like they can breathe in there. You deserve a reward. I know, I'll move you from the attic to, to the garage. <laughs> <laughs> you better give us our own rooms, old man. You got 47 rooms in that house. <laughs> so the triplets just get a shit ton of junior woodchuck badges and then scrooge decides that he does like them after all and that they're all gonna go treasure hunting together we make a great team don't we lads give me four ah, scrooge. and they acknowledge that they only have four fingers which has never made sense to me although they're ducks so they really shouldn't have fingers at all so never mind <laughs> Ugh, what a family oh you haven't won the treasure yet mcduck Beware. Oh. So on that ominous note, the first episode ends. Pretty much every episode ends in a to-be-continued, I think. Um, this is all the time I have today, but if you guys like this video and you want to see a video about that next episode, let me know. I'd love to do it. Gotta love DuckTales. So <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. Everything you do to support this channel means the world to me. You guys are awesome. Um, if you're new here and you're a fan of nonsense, maybe consider sticking around because I post nonsense all the time. And remember, my name is Avery. I'm a YouTuber if you say so, because thanks to you guys, this is technically a YouTube channel. Bye!